this is where we're living for the next two days in a shipping container. Do you want to see what's inside? Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. We sold our business, rented out our house and quit our jobs to travel the world for a year. Today we're finally getting out. It's another miserable rainy day but we are travelling in the rainy season so what can we expect? But it was raining all day yesterday so we just had a lazy day, sat in Starbucks most of the day didn't we Ben? And changed accommodation once again, but this one we're staying in. We're actually staying in for two nights, so we're actually getting out and about and going to explore around here. We're now in like the business area, which is a lot safer area with loads of tall buildings. Most of these tall buildings are actually banks, so you can't really say most of them, but we're just going to explore. Ben's found the statue of that famous boxer from here, so we're going to go look at that and a few other things and hopefully try some tasty food. But anything else you want to say, Ben? Uh, we'll probably try some tasty food because that's what we do. So here we have Robert Duran, Panama's most famous sportsman, greatest boxers that ever lived. He's most famous for um, when he fought Sugar Ray Leonard, the old no mass thing when he quit. But this is, I mean, apart from that, he's just one of the greatest boxers that's ever lived, Roberto Duran. Well, we just got a taxi to the visitor center near Panama Canal. And we're gonna go and see if we can have a look because we don't actually want to go in the visitor center. But I'm not sure where we're allowed. Maybe you can park there. And it cost us $10 each to go into this visitor centre. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I thought like, when we first paid it, I thought, oh, man, fuck We could yeah. probably go and stand anywhere and watch it. Yeah, no. But no, you can't. No, you can't. Watch it's, it open and close. It's worth it. It's actually look quite amazing to see. So now we're just ordering the taxi back to our accommodation. It's about $7 the taxi tip to and from here. So it's a bit steep, but taxi Ubers are so much cheaper than transport here. Hello. Welcome to our new accommodation, a shipping container. We're going to go and show you around. Let's go. Let's go. This is our 
room. So what we're looking at here is the number pad. So to get in, top on the code, and then and on up. Voila. Welcome to our shipping container. Oh, hello. So this is it. Simple as, double bed. Here we are. They've got, what they've done, they've converted this. I assume this used to be two big, massive steel doors. Took them out and they put this in. Yeah, they've got electricity. We haven't got water at the moment because they're, it's off, they're doing so. But it's got water, aircon, TV, TV, you've got, you've got Wi Fi, you've got Netflix, you've got YouTube, you've got everything like that. TV. It's not. not. Yeah, you've got in here, you've got your toilet, obviously you've got all our washing in here. <laughs> this is how we dry our washing. But yeah, we've got toilet, shower, sink. Excuse the pants and socks, we're trying to wash in the sink just underwear, but... So we've got some shampoo, soap, no hot, no water at the moment because they're just doing something, I don't know what. Look at this cool light switch though. Yeah, so this is, um, this is an eco-lodge, right? So... Obviously, got all reusable materials. They've reused, obviously, the steel container was obviously derelict and not getting used. They reused it. Everything's reusable materials, the wood. So, yeah, switch your light off. It's all, yeah, energy, energy saving and energy efficient. So, turn the NT and lights off when you leave. Save energy, save earth, save trees. includes our room tour and um, the area we're in now is so much better and it's really quiet we we look like, feel safe walking the streets and we don't have taxis beeping us every five seconds because the other area we just weren't allowed to walk around in but this area is called Oberia which is mainly where all the tall buildings are um, and like the banks and people with money pretty much it is a bit more expensive here but it's worth it because in the other area we couldn't even walk around. So we, def we definitely prefer it, don't we, Ben? Yeah. And Uber's are super cheap out here. It's like $2, about 15 minutes up the road. So get Uber everywhere. It's the safest way. The area we were in, Karandu, was literally at the end of our road, which we literally got told, do not go out like, at dark and do not even during the day walk along that street. We were literally off a side road by it, weren't we, Ben? Mm. So we were like, let's get out of here. We spent about three days there, but we weren't allowed to walk out. We had to get like a taxi everywhere. And we couldn't even like walk to the corner shop at night. So we were like, let's move and pay a bit more. Rough so we were, right? Yeah, so we were getting like accommodation in that area for about £20 a night. Here we're going to have to pay about £30 a night, which is over our budget, but it's all about safety in it. At it's, least we're not going to get breaks. I wouldn't say raped, probably like, they say like they'll, um, what's it called? They'll hold a knife, <laughs> they'll hold a knife up against me and then go and make Ben withdraw money to not hurt me and things like that. So I don't know, but we have had a couple of incidences, so we didn't feel safe, so we moved. But I will put in the description down below where we're staying and the area, like the best areas kind to of go and areas to stay out of if you're going to walk around like if you're sensible it's probably a bit safe but we walked around a couple of times and we had incidents both times so i think we've learned a lot since we've been here yeah and we definitely like we walked around all day around here and we've not had one problem at all so but yeah we're gonna go and get some food now because ben doesn't feed me all day anymore for some reason we're on like don't eat all day diet we're on a one meal a day diet and we're going to go back to that um, calf, calf slash restaurant we were in earlier on because the food looked unreal. So let's go. They're giving away um, Heineken, I thought. We can't give it to drivers, but um, it's 0% alcohol. So obviously, they're advertising them that it's, it, they can drive and drink. <laughs> We went to earlier on, where I had the chocolate milkshake, then I had the coffee. So we put the 
food look great. And I don't know what to have. I like the sound of homemade custard. Homemade custard? <laughs> Just get it. Homemade custard with ice cream. That's Cust a bit weird. Isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of meat on the menu, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know what to, there's a lot of fish as well though. Yeah. I do like them sounds getting the chicken. So today we just explored like some of the popular things to go and look at that didn't really cost us money. <laughs> Even though it cost us to go and see the Panama Canal, but it's one of the things. But we're still kind of just hanging around in Panama until my camera's done. We still haven't heard anything yet. It's a bit annoying because we're a bit bored here now, aren't we? Hopefully we're here something tomorrow. But otherwise we've just come out for dinner at this proper American style diner, which is open 24-7. Yeah, I just want to comment about, I've got a, a sweet iced tea. Got it, it's sweet. So we've got a meat platter for two to share. Yeah, it's quite a lot. We've got a meat platter for two to share. The soda chips. Looks like we've got some pork, some sausage, beef, some chicken. Sausage got an arm. It's got like a garlicky, herby sauce on it. it. looks unreal. We've got this to share. Mm. Alright, we're moving accommodation once again. We've got a hostel tonight. We just keep booking one night because each day we're hoping the camera's done so we can leave. But we still haven't heard anything so we might have to um, go up there and see what's going on because it's been over five days now. It's getting a bit annoying. <laughs> restaurants and boats. And we've got these lovely ice lollies. Well, we've got a Oreo one. And I've got a strawberry one. And I've got a, uh, what do you guys? Strawberry. Flamingo Island is one of the four small islands in Panama. It's got loads of restaurants and like a long boardwalk where you can hire bikes and just look at the sea. It's quite nice. We're just going to go for a long stroll, find a spot to fly the drone. So we love the street food here. I got a sausage. I got beef. I thought it was chicken, but it's definitely beef, isn't it? And they only cost us like one fifth, one, how do you say, half a dollar? 50 cent. One dollar 50 cent each. So, Fishy. street food's the best. Mm. That's nice. There was saying at Rian that the, um, with the drone, where we're literally in line with an airport. So there's like obviously a restriction from in the main city and then here it's an advanced warning zone so I can only fly so high. Yeah, there are still small planes flying over so I have to obviously keep the uh, altitude low. But driving up along this long road to the end to the Flamingo Island I was like god this is a long road it's like a stretch just along the water bet we end up walking it what's happened we're walking it oh. but it's a nice view and there's a nice breeze here as well so that's quite nice oh. but the length of from the start to finish oh. Oh. Ben's ran all the way over there and left me to try and cross this road on my own. Come <laughs> on. Interesting. Oh. That's right, Steven. You won't even cut off anyway. He's sulking. smiles does it take to be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like